You have probably seen knitted vests in different shapes and colors on social media and you want to try to add them to your outfits. But maybe you're not sure how to pull them off. No problem, that's why I'm here for today. I'll show you 5 different ways to style knitted vests that you can easily replicate or adapt to your own liking. Welcome everyone, my name is Felipe and in this video we're going to style 5 different knitted vests in 5 different ways. On top of that I'll be sharing some tips and styling alternatives for you to make the most out of this video. But before we continue I just want to kindly ask you to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it of course. Now let's jump straight to the first outfit. <music> That's one of my favorite ways to style knitted vests. This one is from Arcade's women's section and I absolutely love the crop cut and the simple design. I styled the cropped vest with a pair of high-waisted pleated trousers, creating a beautiful silhouette that makes you look taller and your legs longer, if that's something you wish to achieve. The way the trousers flow and stack on the derbies are just little details that make this simple outfit more interesting. If you're looking for high waisted trousers like this one, I would highly suggest you to have a look in the women's section of any stores. This one is also from the women's section, but sold out unfortunately. But I'm gonna make sure to link some alternatives in the description box below. What makes this outfit so special to me aren't just the proportions, but also the color palette. I went for an earthy color palette that always works well together, in my opinion. The different shades of brown against the off-white of the trousers add a lovely contrast. As a layering option, I opted for this wool overshirt that ties the whole outfit nicely together. Finally, I added my own twist by wearing my favorite rings, a pearl necklace, a beanie and of course my earrings. You can always use your favorite accessories and jewelry to give your outfits more character and add your personal touch. So, the second outfit is probably the most casual out of all, but keep in mind that you can always dress up or dress down any of those outfits by simply wearing more dressy footwear or sneakers for example. If there's only one part that you like about any of those outfits, take that, change the rest according to your personal preferences and make it your own. If you don't like white and oversized clothing but you like the colors, simply take the color palette as an inspiration and translate it into your preferred slimmer silhouette. For this look, I went more for a casual and relaxed vibe. I built this outfit up on those chunky high top sneakers and paired them with wide leg pleated trousers. On top, I layered a simple oversized white tee underneath a creamy v-neck knitted vest. You can always work with different layers when styling knitted vests and that's what makes them so versatile. I think the accessories make this look very casual. Both the bucket hat and the crossbody bag are made of linen and the colors match nicely. To break the monochromatic look, I opted for those chocolate brown wide leg trousers, but if you're into it, make sure to wear pants in a similar creamy color. That's the type of outfit I would wear to meet my friends on a sunny spring afternoon for lunch, but maybe one day after the pandemic. <laughs> This one is a bit more out there. There is a lot going on, but I still feel that everything flows nicely together, especially the colors. The earthy color palette is my favorite, as you probably know already, and I think the baby blue hat is a nice contrast. Those heeled boots and the vest tucked in adds a dressy touch to the outfit, but you can definitely make it more casual by simply untucking the vest and wearing sneakers. However, if this isn't dressy enough for you, you can just throw on a blazer to look more sharp and neat. Wearing knitted vests is a great way to make your outfits more versatile. Just by adding or removing a layer, such as this blazer, you can create a whole different aesthetic. For that reason, one outfit can work for different occasions throughout your day. The accessories are as always optional and personal. Go for accessories and jewelry that reflect your personality and you feel comfortable wearing. I would wear this outfit on a sunny day when I'm in a good mood and about to meet my friends. Most of the time the occasion isn't important to me, 
I love to dress according to my mood and how I feel. I hate this idea of dressing just to fit in or just to please other people. Clothing is something personal and an extension of your character. And I think that's something you shouldn't have to change just to please other people, right? That was just a side note, let's keep it moving. Next up, we have a very simple and tonal outfit. Fun fact, the vest and suit are women's wear pieces and I absolutely love them. I can't stress this enough, but you need to start shopping without letting gender sections dictate what you can and cannot wear. Trust me, it will boost your confidence and improve your style. Give it a try if you haven't already, you have nothing to lose. The reason why I love this outfit is because it's very simple and the creamy tones against the black is a timeless color combination that always works. If you're keeping this outfit very simple, the main focus should be the cut and fabrics of the individual pieces. The suit is quite boxy and straight cut and the chunky knit vest elevates the plain outfit without distracting too much. And again, wear it with a blazer and you have a very clean and chic outfit. Remove it and you still maintain the cleanness with a casual touch. If you're just getting started with fashion and style, my tip for you is to keep it very simple, stay away from prints and bold colors for the beginning and focus more on the right cut and fabrics that work best for you. Remember, less is more. The final outfit is clearly more experimental and not everybody's cup of tea. I just want to show you how versatile knitted vests are and that you can style them in so many ways. The pop of color of the vest and the contrasting fabrics make the difference in this case. I've been loving to wear ties lately and I think it works very well with this outfit. As I didn't want to look like a Wall Street banker, I decided to break the look with those flared fall leather trousers and the square toe boots. Mixing different styles is one of the key elements of my own style. There are no rules, just personal preferences. So be creative and experiment until you find your own lane. If you're still not sewed on the tie, you could just simply drop it and unbutton the shirt. I would wear a black jacket or a blazer to tie the whole outfit together. Those were five different ways to style knitted vests and I think they should become a wardrobe staple as they are very versatile and can be worn during all seasons. And it's not a trend that's gonna fade in a few months. Even though they are trending right now, they have been there over decades. The only thing that has changed is the way people wear them and the cuts have become slightly more loose. As long as you don't go for a crazy design, I think it's always smart to invest in a good quality knit vest that goes very well with your style and what you already have in your wardrobe. So let me know in the comments which was your favorite outfit and don't forget to check out the description box below to find all the links to everything I wore in this video. I also added some alternatives for the pieces that were sold out. I hope this video provided some type of value for you and if it did, you already know what to do, right? That's it for today and I will see you on the next video. Hasta la vista amigos! Thank you.